Eric Barker plays well with others. The surprising science behind why everything you know about relationships is mostly wrong. Feeling tired of the uncertainty in relationships? You're not the only one. These days, finding a true connection seems like a risky game. But in this extract, let's dive into plays well with others to change that. We've got a stash of proven strategies to help you nurture strong, lasting relationships. Say goodbye to common myths about compatibility and the feelings of loneliness. Instead, let's discover ways to create solid bonds, whether it's with friends, co-workers or family, without leaving it to luck. This extract gathers wisdom from neuroscience, medicine and history to highlight how crucial friendships, community and love are in your life. It's time to take control and learn the art of playing well with others, ditching the uncertainty for good. So let's not wait for chance. Let's dive in and master the skills to build meaningful connections. Extract 1. Don't trust first impressions. Have you ever met someone and instantly felt like you knew them? That happens to all of us, but here's the catch. Those quick judgments we make, they often miss the mark. Even pros like FBI profilers can get it wrong. Why? Because we're not mind readers. Our brains like to stick to what we already think, letting our biases take charge. First impressions hit us lightning fast. Sometimes they're spot on, but other times they steer us wrong. Like when we judge based just on looks. And once we decide, our brains lock it in, making it hard to change. Eric Barker labels this the first impression paradox. It messes with our relationships because we stick to what we first thought, even if it's not accurate. To really get people, we've got to know ourselves. We see what we want to see, try trying to make sense of a wild world. Biases make us accept half-baked information as good enough. So how do we break free? Try active listening. Focus on what people say, not just how they stand. Ask open questions and dig deeper before deciding. The real challenge isn't figuring others out. It's overcoming our biases. By spotting and fighting these biases, we connect better and understand others more deeply. Remember those first impressions? They might only tell part of the story. Extract 2. Making lasting friendships. Friendship can mean different things today from online buddies to lifelong pals. But at its core, it's about helping each other out and sticking together through thick and thin. Having friends is super important. It makes us happier, healthier, and more successful. But friendships need care. They're special because we choose them, but that also means they can fade if we don't look after them. Scientists like George Price debated why we're kind to others. His research hinted that it might be in our genes, but he wasn't convinced. He gave away everything to test his ideas, but sadly, he felt very low and ended his life. Did this mean kindness doesn't exist? Not really. Later studies show we're wired to be kind, and it usually feels great. But Price's story leaves us unsure. So here's the real deal. Making friends and keeping them needs work. Here are three tips. Be yourself. Share your true self, flaws and all. It builds strong bonds. Make time. Regular chats or calls matter. Dedicate time to your friendships. Stay consistent. Be there for your friends, good times or bad. Some folks might not be reliable friends, or worse, they might be selfish. If dealing with them is tough, find common ground but know that some people don't change. Great friendships are like treasures. They make life better. By following these tips, you can build awesome friendships that bring joy and meaning. Extract 3. The Challenges and Rewards of Romantic Relationships Love is a powerful thing. It's behind almost all the songs we adore, but it's not just about hearts and heartbreak tunes. Love is tricky sometimes making us feel amazing, and sometimes making us feel wrecked. 
You know how your mind wanders back to your first crush or the one that slipped away? That's love for you, a mix of enchanting and tough. Explaining love is hard because it changes a lot. It can be good or bad, intense or calm. Sometimes it's about giving, other times it's about getting. But no matter how it changes, love is mega strong. It can push us to be better and kinder. When things get tough, having a partner's love keeps us steady. Plus, love helps bring people closer, even when they're really different. But let's face it, real life isn't all about love conquering everything. High divorce rates show that love doesn't always win. In the past, marriage wasn't about love, but about staying alive. Today, relationships are tough too. Managing passion, commitment, and big hopes, even with less time together. The classic happily ever after often isn't so simple. So what's the secret to keeping love alive? Let's find out next. Mo. Extract 4. The Key to Lasting Love Ever wondered why some relationships shine while others fade away? Keeping love strong isn't a one-size-fits-all, but there are some proven tips that can make a big difference. Here's the scoop. Instead of always being busy, make time for each other. Plan special dates and moments to reconnect. Those little surprises and sweet gestures. They're not just fixes, they're reminders of your special bond. Let's look back in time. Different eras celebrated love in their own ways. Some were all about fantasy, others about reason. So what works today? We need a mix. Love isn't always a fairy tale, but it thrives when both partners believe in their story together. But here's the real magic, facing problems together. Make your love strong by dealing with issues mindfully. A story of us is more powerful than me. Knowing you're loved makes you stronger. Daydreams start the journey, but effort keeps it going. Watch out for common problems like stress or money issues. They can overshadow the good stuff and cause conflicts. Seek help if things get tough. A psychologist found four big warning signs for relationships. Criticism, contempt, defensiveness, and stonewalling. Address behaviors, not personalities, and avoid disrespect. Stay open to feedback and take breaks if things get tough. Remember, every relationship has its ups and downs. Self-awareness is key. When you mess up, say sorry and keep working on it. Relationships are like gardens. Care for them, understand each other, and give them time to grow. Extract 5. The Importance of Social Support in 1866, on Molokai Island, a group of lepers faced a grim future. They were abandoned, with little to survive on. The healthy residents, though, did something incredible. Instead of focusing on saving themselves, they shared what they had and cared for the sick. The result amazed everyone. All survived. This event shows how much we need each other. When things get hard, we naturally want to help. It's like when people rush to aid in a war or during an accident. The big lesson? We often forget how important it is to have a community while trying to be independent. Feeling lonely doesn't only happen from being alone. It's because we focus so much on doing things alone. Here's the deal. We chase control and status and forget real connections. We end up in shallow online relationships and issues like depression grow but helping others really makes a diff difference. Just being around caring people can affect us positively. Even acupuncture relies on this care effect to make us feel supported. Our problem isn't just about not having things, it's about missing a supportive community. Our success comes from working together, not just doing things alone. Our evolution shows how crucial being social has been. To be happier, we need to rediscover the happiness of helping and being with others. Extract 6. People can help you find your purpose. In the past, people wondered a lot about the meaning of life. Even now, many of us are still searching for an answer. Long ago, stories used to tell us our purpose, but those stories faded away. Science tried to help, but it struggled too. But here's something interesting. 
Recent studies show that the meaning of life isn't really a hard puzzle. Nope, it's quite simple. Life is about belonging. Well, it's because we humans really love being part of something. We want connections and friendships. It's not just a small desire. It's something we really need. These connections make our lives feel important, like we're part of a big picture. Remember those times when you felt really happy? Most likely, they involved being with a group, like a close community, or your family and friends. This is where stories come in, stories that are more than just facts. Stories have an amazing thing power. Writers know their stories can change how we feel and what choices we make. Stories can bring us together or push us apart. So how do we avoid being split apart? By creating new stories that bring us all together. As we look for meaning, we found out that only science isn't enough. It's time to say no to just thinking about ourselves and start making new stories that bring communities closer and give life meaning. Old stories are disappearing, and technology might make us feel more alone. That makes finding our purpose harder. What we need now are new stories that include everyone and make us closer. Final summary. In this extract, we've delved deep into the heart of what truly matters, relationships. They're the bedrock of our well-being, offering love, support, and that essential feeling of belonging. But let's face it, nurturing and keeping these connections alive isn't a walk in the park. It's about embracing vulnerability, honesty, and being there for each other no matter what. We've learned that effective communication, the knack for resolving conflicts, and the beautiful art of forgiveness are all pieces of the puzzle when it comes to building and maintaining those meaningful bonds. So here's the takeaway. Take intentional steps in your relationships. Dive into something larger than yourself. It's within these very connections that you'll unearth the real essence of life's meaning. Remember, it's not just about having relationships. It's about nurturing them, growing with them, and finding the magic within them. Got feedback? We love to hear about our content. Just share your thoughts and book recommendations in the comments section below. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about the latest video. Thank you and have a great day.